is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have some brand new wwe action figure news for you guys and it is absolutely massive news like when i say massive news this is absolutely massive news that i cannot wait to get into with you guys and also we have some other things to discuss coming up tomorrow guys i am gonna have a brand new spanking review of the brand new 2021 sdcc exclusive sergeant slaughter figure coming to the channel so definitely stay tuned turn on your bell guys early in the morning it's gonna be going up sergeant slaughter review do not miss out on it it's going to be absolutely epic but also guys diving into the news that we have today we actually got it announced today so if you guys know steve action figure attack over on instagram he actually works for mattel and him and bill are pretty much the faces of mattel when it comes to like talking to the public and the fans and everything like that so they actually gave us an insight on what we're going to be getting and i'm going to go ahead and reveal it to you right here guys this is some information here so action figure attack says i am so proud to announce the launch of our first mattel wwe crowdfunded project the wwe Ultimate Edition New Generation Arena. For the first time ever, we are bringing you the New Generation Light Up Neon Entrance. This entrance is one of the most iconic visuals in WWE history and is synonymous with some of our most beloved memories of 90s WWE. The entrance is huge and features fabric curtains as well as functioning lights with multiple light patterns to choose from. We also have the new Ultimate Edition Scale Ring, which is the most realistically scaled and detailed action figure ring ever, featuring fabric ring skirts, fabric turnbuckles, fabric mat, ring frame, and an unreal sculpted detail and a matte base with wooden planks sculpted detail. These details will bring your displays, play, and action figure photography to life like never before. This is rounded out by the leader of the new generation, Ultimate Edition Big Daddy Cool Diesel. Diesel comes with a swappable head, swappable hands with molded glove detail and his entrance vest. All this is just tier one which will be delivered with 5,000 backers for just $250. We have even more tiers to announce during Friday's Elite Squad panel that will unlock additional bonus items that will really excite you by longtime fans for longtime fans which it, with its success who knows what the future can bring the crowdfunding campaign launches on july 23rd on mattelcreations.com let's make this happen so basically what we're saying guys is if you guys have seen through the images here we're going to be getting a new generation arena which is absolutely sick so if you guys don't understand the concept of a crowdfunding process or what that absolutely means so crowdfunded means i don't know if you guys are hasbro fans or if you follow marvel legends or whatever they have a new thing called has labs which is where you know the best way to describe it is things that the collectors really really want or things that hardcore action figure collectors and things like that that we would want it's kind of hard to make those things happen unless they know for sure that it's going to sell so what they've done here is they have a crowdfunding process and you guys can see that it says they need 5,000 backers that are willing to pledge $250 to be able to create all of these and get them out to the people so what they're gonna need is they're gonna need 5,000 people willing to pay $250 fifty dollars to pre-order this thing and if they end up getting more backers than they need then there's other unlockable things that could be added to the product somebody actually even made a little graphic here my man prime wrestling found this on w figs it says someone on w figs laid out hypothetical timeline for backers six thousand backers they'll add doink the clown seven seventy five hundred backers monday night raw ring skirt ropes and buckle ten thousand backers raw retro entrance stage so if they get the more backers they get the more they're able to put inside the product you know the more accessories the more things that can be included with the diesel in the ring in the entrance stage but this is just absolutely massive guys the thing i mentioned about haslab and hasbro is they're doing the same thing with like these gigantic pieces to give these you know hardcore hasbro marvel legends comic book action figure collectors these things that just would not be a realistic in a retail space so like yeah they could probably send this thing to ringside but it's probably a better idea to get it backed and crowdfunded that way they could uh it just makes everything a lot smoother it makes everything more concrete they know how much money they have they've already got the money in hand and they use that money that they get from the crowdfund from the people pre-ordering it to actually make the product and get it out to us so this thing looks absolutely insanity so the new generation entrance stage as you guys can see you get the curve you get the light up lights. I have a little video. I don't know if I'll be able to plug the video in or not. I did try to plug in the video, so we'll just see if that is even the case. But that thing lights up. It lights up crazy, like it's blinking and stuff. You get the Ultimate Edition Diesel figure, which is kind of crazy because we even said that we're going to be getting a Diesel figure. And then remember, we talked about getting an Ultimate Edition Diesel, but we didn't know anything about what it could be, you know, like what exactly it would include or whatever. And, the you know, the news kind of went out there and it kind of flew under the radar and then bam, out of nowhere, here it comes again. But it's with this big crowdfunded project that nobody knew about with the arena and everything like that. So now will I say, like, this is a very sick idea. And I don't want you guys, you guys, like, younger fans are probably thinking, what's the big deal? It's a, it's a cool ring. 
ring, yeah, like, you're probably like, oh, it's a cool entrance stage, it's a cool thing, you know, we get the ring and, like, all this, but I don't think you're understanding what this could mean for the future. So just because this is the first project doesn't mean that they can't do other things in the future, guys. Like, I'm thinking massive. They could do an Elimination Chamber. They could do a Hell in a Cell that features a Mankind and an Undertaker. They could do an Elimination Chamber with six figures, depending on how many backers they get. They could do the SmackDown Fist stage. They could do, like, with a American Badass Undertaker and Motorcycle. They could, like, these are just ideas that come to my brain once this thing gets off the ground. So it's very important that we back this thing, that we go hardcore on this, so that in the future we can get even more exciting, you know, things that other people would want. I know that 90s collectors and, you know, people that grew up with this era are going to go hardcore for this. I still think it's super sick. I didn't grow up with this or anything like that, but this is still such a cool piece and all these pieces and stuff like that. And uh, I think it looks awesome. I can't wait to, to have it in hand and play with it and, you know, everything like that. I hope the scaling is a little bit tweaked. I hope that it's perfect. I hope, you know, I, I, I hope it's like the best backed project ever. You know what I'm saying? I hope that we get a lot of things going on with it. Again, if you guys would like to pre-order this, July 23rd is when you can do so at MattelCreations.com. And I think this MattelCreations.com thing is going to be absolutely massive, guys, because this is just the beginning. I, I think that like Jeremy said it the other day, this is the golden era of collecting. And that is just the case, man. We're just entering into some just insanity stuff, man. This stuff is insane. And with crowdfunding, you can literally do anything. Like I said, Hell in a Sales, Elimination Chambers. Like, there are so many different things that you can do. And this is just the beginning. But this piece is super sick. I'm definitely going to be backing this thing. Absolutely. I don't want to get two of them. We'll just have to see about that. I don't, I don't know about all that. We'll have to see. But it is very important that we back this thing. And it's very important that we, you know, we get as many backers as we possibly can. So the future is bright for other things that want to release. And I just think it's super cool, man. Like the wood slats on the ring, the, the cloth ring skirt, and the turnbuckles, and the, the freaking exposed wood, bro. That is just awesome. So I think it's very important to get that we definitely back this thing, that we get all hands on deck and that we support here because like don't get me wrong $250 is a lot but if we can get a lot of backers here man we can get some more bonuses and extras in here and it's going to be absolutely cool to see this thing and I, I want to review it for you guys so that's definitely something I got to work on but just the potential I'm just thinking of the potential the, the potential excites me man I'm excited for the potential because you just never know what you could get again this is just the tier one they're going to throw in more stuff as we unlock more tiers as more backers come in I'm very interested to see how many people back this thing on July 23rd which is in four days so that's going to be on friday and i think i want to say the sergeant slaughter figure i'll have it on tomorrow's video when we review the sergeant slaughter where you guys can pre-order it if you guys want to pick up a sergeant slaughter the sdcc exclusive i'll cover that in tomorrow's video when we review it but oh my god man this is just such a great start to the week because san diego comic-con man anything's possible like the reveals are going to be insane the more announcements that we get are going to be insane like it is just a crazy time to be a collector man so i had to talk about this this has been the biggest news of the day this huge crowdfunding project for the WWE Ultimate Edition New Generation Arena playset deal going on right here. I'm very excited to see what it looks like Mach 2. Like, are they going to do some cool packaging or whatever the case is? I don't know, man. This is just crazy. Again, think of the bigger picture. Like, yeah, you may not be a Diesel fan. You may not have liked the New Generation era. You know, era. You may not have liked anything like that. I know the 90s fans are going to love this. And I still love it, regardless if I grew up with it or not, man. This is a badass piece. But just think of the future. Think of the potential projects that we could get from here. And it's going to be great, man. This is awesome. A huge shout out to Mattel, Mattel Creations, Action Figure Attack, Bill McKenna, everybody over at Mattel, man. This is why we love the hobby. This is why we love action figures and wrestling and WWE and everything, man. This is what makes everything exciting when we get these big reveals and these big things that get us all excited and ready to go to make content, create content, and just uh, just enjoy it, man. It's just such an awesome thing. So this is awesome, man. I would love to know what all of you guys think of this thing down in the comment section below. Are you excited for it? Do you like it? Are you going to drop the money on it to actually, you know, back it? Are you going to back it yourselves? Are you excited for what they could potentially do in the future? Let me know down below, guys. But before we get out of here, let's get into our random shout-out. And this shout-out's going to go to Nick Robinson, who says, Edge versus Roman was such a good match. Edit. Cena's green and yellow attire was fire. I have to agree with that, Brad. I thought it was pretty sick. I got to get a custom-made as soon as possible go up on the Cena shelf you guys know how it is and hopefully he'll I, I'm, I'm just glad he changed his gear you guys know that he's been rocking kind of the same gear here and there so that's awesome, and I kind of low-key wish he came back as the Doctor because of what The Fiend did to him. But a huge shout-out to Nick for that comment. I'm getting out of here, guys. Please let me know down below what you guys think of everything. Go follow me on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't cross the line like uh, the people that don't back this this project. You cross the line, I've been beat.